Somebody put your hands together and celebrate. Ire by pertinence. Ire by pertinence. Statistics has shown that the country has an estimated housing deficit of about 20 million units with a population of about 200 million and an annual growth rate of 2.8%. In view of this, another opportunity has been found to become a property owner. As Pertinence Limited, a real estate giant that provides luxurious, commercial and residential solutions has unveiled its projects. Iwe, an estate occupying 350 acres in the Mowe axis of Ogun State. Speaking at the event, Wisdom Ezekiel, the co-founder of Pertinence Limited, made mention of some of the projects the group had embarked on and while the Mowe project is there to hurt. In terms of population, the Mowe community is about 1.4 million. You don't know. 1.4 million people living in Mowe. When we started doing Mowe projects in those days where we were doing Papala and To, we were still far away from Mowe. You know, the place was already being developed. Annually, about 3.3 million people come around Moe as is. Why? Because you have several churches that have their camps there. So it brings us that particular feel that Moe look like a place where we need to take seriously. You know, people are not taking it seriously as much before now, but right now, people are taking it seriously. In fact, when I went to meet the MD of that particular bank, he gave us a particular offer and said there's a land there that one of his friends bought some years ago. Right now, he wants to sell it, and he's selling it for some huge billions. And when he opened the offer, it was, it was huge, you know. So that's the opportunity that we have in those Mowe. Also, some of the management highlighted the peculiarities of the Ewe projects ranging from the Inhabit, Research and Enterprise. It should not be just limited to where we live. That's why we need to distinguish between you having a house and you having a home. So part of what you'll be getting in that Inhabit section of Ewe is a home. But let me give you a quick brief about the location itself. The Ewe project is situated in Mowe and can be accessed by two major roads. The first is the Mowe Ofada Road, and the second is from Ofada to Shagam Road, as is. And while uh, Wiseman was talking the other time, he said so many things about Ewe. Can someone just guess the land size of Ewe? The total land size that we'll be using for this project. Who can guess? Can someone just guess? Yeah? Eh? 300, 200. Okay, uh, let me continue. When Wiseman was talking the other time, he said we are doing something audacious, something we've never done before. So I present to you Ewe Project. Ewe is sitting on an expanse of 350 acres, and it has the possibility of being expanded to 900 acres. The land I'm talking about has a C of O. Very inherent quality and property we have in Ewe Resorts is that we have a flowing stream there, which my colleague explained. And I can tell you the flow, the, the, the view is amazing. And of course, we will have lush landscaping. I need you to clap, please. We'll be having over 30,000 tourists visiting the Ewe Resort. A number of you here have um, friends, families in diaspora. And when they come around, you always want to probably take them to nice places. Sure? Sometimes you need to probably go very far before you can actually get this kind of fun. And of course, you know, Nigeria is not safe anymore. If I tell a number of you, let's go to Oberukatu Ranch, you will see some drawbacks. Ah, this place is too far. So the Wistering Palm is far. The Wistering Palm is far. Obudu is farther because you have to go through the plane. But the evil results. 
Enterprise is the commercial arm of ERA. Enterprise is where we make money. Say that again. Enterprise is where we make money. I'll tell you about it a few decades ago. The land away, a lot of people began to hear of it because Lagos, as we know, has been saturated for a very long time. Right. And people started moving towards Moe. That would have been the boom of population in Moe. However, thank you, sir. However, people still find themselves coming into the heart of Lagos because they couldn't find proper commercial facilities back there in Moe. But with Ire, this problem has been solved. With Ire, this problem has been solved. On a facility of about 350 acres, which is possibly can be extended to 900, we have nothing less than five to 10,000 residents on this facility only. 30,000 tourists have been projected to visit Ire every year. That, is, makes, that makes 2,500 every month. It is only pertinent that we have a place for people to engage every form of resource that they need. And this has been factored in into ERA. Meanwhile, speaking on the reason people should key into the ERA Muwe project and be a part of this, stakeholders have this to say. ERA is basically a place where people can live where people can relax and where people can make money. Work and make money. So that's what we are doing. We discovered that there are a lot of lapses when it comes to infrastructures like that, especially in the environment where we live between the Lagos and Ogun State Aziz. And we have stepped in to see how we can be a part of the solution. So we are having a place where people can live. So we have the inhabit, a lot of building projects, a lot of... Um, landed properties to be acquired. We are building the first resort in Moe. There is no resort at all in the entire Moe and Moe has about 1.4 million people and if they want to enjoy themselves, nowhere to go. Rather they will just look for all the other short places and it's not always very secured. So we are having that very secure environment where they can go and enjoy themselves. Then we have the enterprise where people can go and have business, business. There has going to, there's going to be shopping malls, there's going to be you know, all kinds of places where people can work, make money and do business. When you hear the word ire, what it means is goodness. And so when people say goodness shall follow you, what they are saying is ire will follow you. I want us to know that it's, it's not coincidental that the word you know, ire is coming forth. I want to let you know that pertinence is known for greatness. Pertinence is known for having the heart of the people. And that's why our slogan is pertinence is it's all about the people. And ire, we are saying inhabits, we are saying resorts, and we are saying enterprise. So come into ire and you will have the best of life waiting for you. It's a dream come true. And um, one of the reasons you should subscribe to Ire Project is we are bringing a big city to Moe. It has the resort, it has the enterprise where you can do business, and it has the residents, the inhabitants, where you can live also. So Ire is a, is a big community that you need to be part of. Ire, meaning goodness, is what every inhabitant would want to associate with as it encompasses the essence of life, nature. And as it is said, that nature is not a place to visit. It is home. Ire is home. Olola Captain TV, Lagos.